Well, Orco sent me a product to review, and it's an M.2 enclosure. This thing is meant for NVMe or SATA. So I figured we'd take some time, uh, open the box, see what we got, uh, how easy it's, is it to install the drives, and also let's do a speed test and see how it performs. I need it to perform at least as good as it's advertised. So why don't you stick around and let's find out together. So Orco is a really good manufacturing company. I have quite a few of their products. They seem to last, they seem durable. And again, they sent me this and it's still in the package. It's still got the plastic wrap on it. I have not taken this out yet. This is a USB 3.2 Gen 2, which means it will run, if you have an NVMe uh, solid state drive in there, it will run at 10 gigabits per second. That is the equivalent of about a thousand uh, megabytes per second. And if you're running a SATA drive in there, then we're talking about five gigabits per second. And it claims that it'll do about 450 megabytes per second. But we'll see where those fall here. I do have a SATA drive, a SATA NVMe, and I do have a Samsung 9 uh, 980 Pro here that we're going to install on this and see what this is all about. So I want to get this thing out of the package and get our first look at this uh, before we go ahead and do any kind of speed, speed tests on my She-Hulk build. So um, yeah, let's get this thing open. All right, well, let's get this thing open so we can get a better look at this thing. You do, it does come with some uh, instructions here on how to uh, specifically use it. It comes in a different couple different languages, so you can go ahead and check that out if you need to. Uh, let's see, it does come with only one cable, and this is a USB-C only to C, or C to C only, I should say. So if you don't have that, you're gonna have to get an adapter. And if you do get an adapter, be mindful where you're plugging it into your computer, it may not run at the speeds advertised, especially when you're talking about the um, the uh, NVMe speeds. So uh, we also get a little heat sink here. This just seems to be aluminum on here. So we get a heat sink and we'll kind of keep these more in view here. And we get a thermo pad and this you can lay over mainly for the NVMe, but you can do it for the other drive too. Uh, this will just help keep your drive just a little cooler. And I'll show you how to install that too. We also get the two uh, rubber uh, pieces to install with your M.2 drive. That's to hold it in place. So you get one extra one. And of course, we get our aluminum casing. This is aluminum. This seems to be plastic right here, uh, this, this portion. We do have an indicator light to make sure that it is uh, doing something. And this is toolless, by the way. And that's kind of nice. It has a little arrow right here, which indicates the direction that you have to push it off. So just basically wrap your hand around it and, and push like that. And you can see that it came off and we just take it the rest of the way off and uh, it slides out on me. So yes, this just opens up like that. And then you have basically, this is a plastic housing. This whole thing is plastic and you have your, your spot, your M.2 connector right there. And that's where you're gonna put it. So let's start off with the SATA drive. What you're gonna do is just install it. I'm trying to get the right angle for you here. And you install it just, I have to kind of see it too. So sorry about that but there's some grooves in there and you can kind of see it. <clears throat> see if I can get a little closer for you and you're gonna install it right 
like that and give her a little push. And this is normal when it's in like that. You'll see it's a little springy. That's completely normal. And then we're gonna take one of our rubber guys. You're gonna put it on the drive. You're gonna see that the, the rubbers have uh, an indentation. Let me see if I can get it, there you go. And it's gonna slip over the little groove right here. That's the cutout for it. It's meant for a screw or these rubber stops. And get it on like that. Um, and you're gonna push it down. Now, I do wanna take this back out because I do wanna show you one other thing. You see that there's four spots here. That means it can support the three or four, diff the four different lengths that these come in, which is, um, I think, 2230, 2242, and 22. Something in 2280, I can't remember, maybe it's 2260. And that just, it's just the different lengths that these come in. So again, we're going to put this in here and then you're gonna put your thumb right on the, the portion right there and then just push down and it's in. So now we're gonna put our housing back over, just like that. And by the way, we can put, we'll put the heat sink, I think on the other one. Well, actually, you know what? I'm gonna demonstrate on this one. So what we're gonna do is this has two sides to it and it's got a appeal to it. It's very appealing. So you can take both sides off now or put it on, then take it off. It doesn't matter. So. What you want to do is just lay it down right like that, right over top of all the chips. You can take this guy and you can lay this right down over that. And it's gonna be it's gonna stick to it itself. And there you go, that's installed. Now we can take this, slide this back over. It's a little tighter fit because of that. And take your and uh back piece here and just basically install it the opposite direction as that it came off. And that is installed, ready to go. Of course, take your USB cable, we'll just plug it in, and now we can test. And here before me, we have all the colors that this specific model can come with, and we have pink, white, blue, and black. Now the the white it's silver down below uh the casing is silver but the top portion is what they're considering I guess all the colors cuz they couldn't make I guess the aluminum um white per se for some reason and of course you get your corresponding cable color so this would go with a pink one we get a white one and a blue one and a black one. So these are the colors you can select from, uh, whatever you wanna choose. All right, so I have Crystal Disk Mark opened up here, and this is gonna run our bench test for our, or our speed test for this drive. And I have it on the correct drive, and we wanna look at these numbers, specifically the top ones, but we're gonna run it all and see how it performs here. Now again, with this, we're looking at somewhere around 450 or greater megabytes per second to at least hit the advertised speeds. Anything above that, like that, is going to be great. All right, guys, look at those numbers. 565 and 524 for the reads and writes. Uh, that is pretty amazing. It's better than I expected for the SATA, but uh, that is great. Those are what those speeds should be anyway. So it exceeded expectations as far as the website goes. All right, now I'm gonna install the NVMe and we're gonna go ahead and test that. All right, guys, here we go. This is the speed test of the NVMe. We should be somewhere in the 1000 megabytes per second range.
All right, guys, so look at those numbers. We have just over 1,000, 1,019 for the reads and 10, or 1,010 for the writes. That is um, pretty standard, and that's what I was expecting, but I'm glad everything is working great. Well, my final thoughts of this is I do recommend this. This is a, a decent quality. It's got... A, um, it's got a design to it where the, the edges are rounded off. So I think it actually fits in your pocket really nice. So you don't have any, any of the corners hitting your, hitting your pocket when you're sitting down in your pants, kind of stretch if you had it in your pants. Um, so it's not digging into you. Um, this is about as tight and as small as a form factor you could get in an M.2 enclosure where you're still using the 280 millimeter length M.2s uh hard drives or um solid state drives so um yeah it's a pretty nice one it's got the led indicator right here to let you know uh whether it's plugged in and if it's actually transferring data it'll flash on you so and a very quick change out being toolless it's a nice it's a nice feature on this so um yes i do recommend this it's actually pretty nice i'll probably um I'll probably keep a couple of the the ones that I got here. I'll keep the one that they sent me and probably one of the other colors. I'm not sure which one yet, but maybe blue. So that's going to do it for me. And I hope you enjoyed this little short review of this. And if you want, there is a link down below. It is an affiliate link. And if you do click on it, I do make a small commission and it's at no extra cost to you. Also, I do not know who you are, where you're from. And so your identity is perfectly safe. It's an affiliate link with Amazon. So that's the way they do it. So I don't know. I can only see what you purchased. That's it. And so if you have not subscribed, consider subscribing and hit that little bell icon next to the subscription, subscription button to get notified for any future videos that I do post. Go ahead and feel free to comment down below and hit that thumbs up button for me, please. And until next time, guys, take care.